Are you unknowingly consuming foods that could put your health at risk? Some foods contain carcinogens that have been linked to cancer, but understanding what to avoid can help protect you and your loved ones. Today, we're uncovering the top 10 carcinogens found in foods and offering practical tips on how to limit your exposure to them and protect yourself. Before we begin, make sure you subscribe to the Natural Healing Guides YouTube channel and click the notification bell so you don't miss any of our important health tips that can empower you to make safer choices. And if you've already made changes to reduce your exposure to harmful substances, share your story in the comments below to help others on their journey to better health. Acrylamide. This chemical is formed when starchy foods are cooked at high temperatures like frying or baking. Common sources include potato chips, french fries, and even some breakfast cereals. To limit exposure, avoid heavily fried foods and consider baking or boiling instead. Heterocyclic amines. HCAs develop when meat is cooked at high temperatures, particularly during grilling, barbecuing, and frying. Reduce your risk by marinating meat before cooking, flipping it frequently, and avoiding charring. Polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons. PAHs form when meat is grilled over an open flame or when fat drips onto a heat source, creating smoke that settles on the meat. Grill on foil to catch fat drips and minimize smoke, or consider indirect grilling to reduce exposure. And nitroso compounds. Found in processed meats like bacon, sausages, and hot dogs, these compounds are created when nitrates and nitrites combine with proteins during cooking. Limit consumption of processed meats and choose nitrate-free alternatives when possible. Aflatoxins, produced by molds that grow on improperly stored crops like peanuts and corn, aflatoxins are a known risk factor for liver cancer. Purchase fresh, high-quality nuts and grains and store them in a cool, dry place. Bisphenol ABPA is used in some canned food linings and plastic packaging. It's linked to breast and prostate cancers. Choose BPA-free cans and containers and opt for fresh or frozen foods instead of canned. Pesticides. Residues from pesticides used on crops can linger on fruits and vegetables, contributing to cancer risk over time. Wash produce thoroughly and choose organic when possible, especially for high residue items like strawberries and spinach. Artificial sweeteners. Some artificial sweeteners, like saccharin and aspartame, have been linked to cancer in animal studies. While more research is needed in humans, consider using natural sweeteners like honey or stevia. Trans fats, found in margarine, baked goods, and many processed snacks, trans fats increase inflammation and have been linked to an increased risk of cancer. Avoid processed foods containing partially hydrogenated oils and opt for healthier fats like olive oil or avocado oil. Food dyes. Some synthetic food dyes, such as Red 40 and Yellow 5, have been linked to hyperactivity and cancer in animal studies. Reduce your consumption of artificially colored foods and choose naturally colored alternatives or whole foods. How to limit exposure. Cook smart. Use lower cooking temperatures and gentler methods like steaming, boiling, or baking to reduce the formation of harmful compounds. Eat fresh and whole. Opt for fresh fruits and vegetables, whole grains and lean proteins to minimize your intake of processed foods with added chemicals. Check labels. Learn to identify harmful additives and preservatives on food labels and choose products with fewer artificial ingredients. Stay informed. Follow updates from trusted health organizations on food safety and carcinogen research. New information can help you make better dietary decisions. Balance matters. While it's wise to limit exposure, Balance your diet with antioxidant-rich foods like berries, leafy greens, and nuts to support your body's natural defenses. Thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell to stay updated on ways to protect your health. Share your tips or questions in the comments below, and together, let's make food choices that keep us healthier for years to come.